So I used to think of myself as this really humble person and I thought it was a good thing. Um, to be humble was to not be arrogant or proud of yourself um, when in reality that's not, that's not the bad thing. The bad thing is belittling yourself. Um, you know, pushing away the compliments and and downplaying your accomplishments is not a good thing for yourself internally for your self image um you know it's you know it's not a good thing it, it's not it's as silly as if a surgeon um you know was complimented by their patient on how well um you know the surgery went and the um how well they sutured them back together and the surgeon said, well, I'm not the best surgeon in the hospital. Well, then why would I want you specifically to be doing my surgery? I won't choose you ever again after that. And, not, and you know, again, being humble is not a bad thing. Um, but I think the better term for it is being able to accept humility. Humility being that you have a modest opinion of yourself and it doesn't belittle you because belittling is not good but you are able to recognize that you are good at such things and then you accept the compliment and acknowledge what other people are recognizing about you but you don't let that go to your head and let yourself think that you're better than anyone else um i think and you know and another a good example of humility is, you know, a business owner doing the the grunt work that uh, might not have been finished for the night. And, you know, they're, they recognize that they're not too good to go clean the bathroom or mop the floors. That the, you know, 16-year-old employee shouldn't have to do that all the time. You know, that is a good boss. Um... Someone who can accept humility, and I think that growing up, I've I've thought that hu being humble was the correct way, and again, not being arrogant and and not being, you know, overly proud um, of yourself is good. You know, it it brings you back down to earth, but you know, humility is better. And I've watched my dad while I was growing up exhibit all of these great attributes to make him able to accept humility which would be being patient and tolerant and you know and another one is intellectual humility um which i didn't quite understand you know what it was at first when he first started talking about it but now i do and intellectual humility is just being able to accept that you might be wrong and it is okay to change your opinion it is not embarrassing at all and um that is you know the best quality of being able to accept humility is intellectual humility um and and i try to remember to do that and use that every day and i think a really good important example for me personally um was when I started my job at the um, boarding facility a year and a half ago. Um, I've had animals my entire life. So I walked into that job, even though I had zero qualifications technically, other than, you know, having animals in my own home, thinking that I knew everything about every single animal I was going to encounter in every single breed, even though I had only owned, you know, X amount of breeds in my entire life. And, um, very quickly, I had to remind myself that it is, I, I have to accept that I have to change my viewpoint on how to handle some specific breeds of dogs and, and you know, how to care for them and what types of shampoo I should be using when I'm bathing them. I mean, I had to accept that it was okay for me to learn new things and it wasn't embarrassing. No one, like, you know, was mad at me no one thought it was silly and haha you're stupid you know that's that's 
some people, you know, you might encounter that, but at the end of the day, it is okay to remember that you can change your opinion as many times as you want, you know, and I, I want to keep the intellectual humility in mind as I go out into the world and I, and I try to do good things. I, you know, I would absolutely love to go to another country and open up, um, well, it, you know, start this project of taking stray animals in and um, having tourists and people who come down to these um, countries on vacation to take these animals back home on the plane with them. And then I would have someone from my organization pick these dogs up at the airport and then take them to a shelter here in the U.S. where they could be adopted and at least be cared for and they wouldn't be strays anymore and it's taking care of the stray population in other countries and I think that that you know would be really f cool and it would be a great non-profit to be a part of and hopefully that I would get some funding from you know um you know, non being a nonprofit, I would get funding and stuff like that. Um, I think it's it would be really fun, but I also have to keep that intellectual humility in my mind at all times, and that you know there might be another pathway to go down with doing that. Um, so I think that there's anything that you can take away from this, and that you know makes the most sense is that it is okay to change growth is good and no matter what you do as you expand your viewpoint and you know learn new things you're you're going to be better at accepting intellectual humility every day so um yeah change is good